Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is yoga for grief or loss. This video is for people who may have recently lost someone or who just may have had a big loss in general. I know over the past couple years, there's been a lot of loss, um, a loss of friends, loss of family, loss of friends of friends, loss of public figures and celebrities. So this practice is just meant to be a gentle practice where we're holding some poses that will help us to release some of the emotions we may have pent up and it'll help us to just better deal with hopefully better deal with any grief we may be experiencing so we're just going to come to an easy seated position on our mat just make sure you're comfortable wherever you are take your hands place them palms facing upward on your knees and we will just begin with some breath deep inhale through your nose exhale out the mouth take an inhale again and exhale Take one more deep inhale and exhale. Then just come back to your natural breath. Just spending a few moments here, letting any emotions that naturally come arise. Trying not to force any emotions up, but also not suppress any emotions. Just let yourself feel whatever you're feeling. The challenging thing about loss and grief is that everyone we ever experience, everyone we ever meet will experience this everyone you ever have known will experience loss and we all have our time and unfortunately it never gets any easier for anyone one thing that can help you is to remember that even though the vessel in which our soul lives is gone, our souls continue to live on. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale. Bring your right hand down to the mat and let your left ear fall to your left shoulder. releasing any tension you're holding in the neck space and if you like you can reach this left arm up and around and either place the hand on the right side of the head or you can reach around and grab the chin if that feels okay just to deepen the stretch here Just make sure that throughout the practice, you're taking care of yourself. And feel free to come out of anything that doesn't feel good. I want you to feel comfortable and be able to relax the best you can during this practice. Inhale. Exhale, release the left hand down to the ground. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. And you can stay here or bring this right hand up and around, grabbing the chin, deepening the stretch here.
exhale, release the right hand, float your body up to hands and knees in a table position. And then we are going to lower down to our belly, coming up on our forearms for Bhujangasana or Cobra Pose. Bringing your hands flat on the mat, fingers spread wide. And just pull your chest up and through, kind of like a sphinx. And if you would like to add some movement, you can bring the hands by the rib cage and just lower down and up in your Bhujangasana. But feel free to rest on the forearms as well. Allowing the chest to pull through, opening the heart. Allowing that heart to open so we can feel free to feel whatever emotions may arise. Take an inhale. And exhale. From here, float your body back to Balasana or Child's Pose, bringing the big toes together and the knees out wide. You can keep the hips lifted or float them all the way back to the heels, melting down into your Child's Pose, letting the forehead, the chin, or the cheek rest on your mat. We often store emotions in our hips, so we want to take a moment to open our hips up a little bit. With each breath, just let your body relax as deep into the pose as it will allow. Inhale. Exhale, float your body forward again. Let's come to a seated position. Extending the legs out in front of us. Let's inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the hands and start to twist to your right side, bringing your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Let your right fingertips Face the back wall and let your gaze follow just for a simple twist here. Trying to release any tension in the spine. Sweep the arms up with another inhale, interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right hand on the outside of the left knee. Let your left fingertips face the back wall and let your gaze follow.
inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Bend your knees and bring your feet flat on the ground. Let's scoot our hips close to our heels. Coming down to our back gently. And just hug your knees into your chest. Moving side to side. Massaging the back. You can even move your knees in a circle. And release the knees. Bring the feet flat on the ground again and allow the knees to fall open for a supine bound angle pose or a supta vada konasana. You can let your hands rest at your sides with your palms facing upward or take one hand and place it over your heart and the other onto your belly. If it starts to get uncomfortable on the hips, feel free to scoop the feet out or just release the legs, whatever you need to do to feel comfortable. Exhale, you can stay in Supta Baddha Konasana or extend the legs moving into Corpse Pose for our Shavasana. And let's just come back to those breaths we used earlier. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And let's come back to just allowing our body to feel whatever emotions may arise in the moment. whatever they may be. Not suppressing them or forcing them down or up, but just allowing them to naturally arise into our body, into our chest, into our mind. Next inhale, if you are grieving a person in particular, I want you to bring an image of that person into your mind. However you remember them, just bring that image into your mind now. Right now, just take a moment to say whatever you need to say to this person. There may be things you wished you could have said or things you wish you could have done. Take the time to talk to this person and tell them whatever you need to tell them in the moment.
imagine that person responding to you and talking back to you. Have a conversation with them. Remember that even though their vessel may no longer be here, their spirit is still very much alive. Then on your next breath, just take this time to remember some of the best moments you spent with this person. Remember laughs you shared, things you did together. Remember the love you had between one another. Maybe let a very subtle smile come across your lips. Now your next inhale, begin to Wiggle your fingers and toes, coming back into your body and back into the room. When you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment for gratitude to have known or have known of the person you may be grieving. When you're ready, roll up to a comfortable seated position. Just imagining that person's aura and spirit surrounding you. We'll sweep our arms up with an inhale, letting the hands meet. Exhale, bring them down to heart center. Namaste. I hope this practice was able to help you in dealing with your grief and dealing with your loss. If you're experiencing loss right now, I wish I give you my condolences. Thank you for watching always, sending you peace and love.